All right, guys, so welcome back to tech360.tv. And today we have here Liz, who is in charge of uh, product marketing, right? Yes. And I just want to ask you a bit, a bit about the questions on the new R5. The All right. A7R5, right? Yes. Okay. Can you talk a bit about what's new? <laughs> yeah, all right. So basically everyone initially thought that this was going to be uh, like a 100 megapixel thing, but no, it's 61 megapixel. Uh, on top of that, it's been upgraded with uh, various new features as well. Uh, some of them being 8 stops, it also supports up to uh, 4K 60p, uh, 8K 24p. But besides that, one of the key highlights that we want to strongly focus on is the new processor for the artificial intelligence. Right. So it's actually an AI processing unit that will significantly improve subject recognition. Right. Yeah. So currently, you know, our autofocus is mainly primarily focusing on the eye. Yeah. Yeah. So currently this camera will enable you to not only focus on the eye, but also the human head and the total human body. This has improved 60% compared to the predecessor, the Alpha 7R Mark IV. Mm. Besides that, uh, the recognition has also been improved for animals by 40%. So you will also be able to shoot lots of small animals besides standard cats and dogs. Uh, on top of that, we have also increased the recognition to more subjects, such as insects and also automobiles. Oh, like, insects as well. Yeah, insects as well. Like, so you can literally go out and shoot butterflies, right. dragonflies, even arachnids like spiders, scorpions. Uh, and beyond that, automobiles. So um, trains, cars, and also, what else did I miss? Aeroplanes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's a lot of subject checking. Yeah, that's a lot of subject checking. And right. I think like what you said, one of the key highlights is something that the mo previous model didn't have was the articulating screen. Yes. So um, because of the AI processing unit, we really encourage and uh, encourage professional photographers to try out this camera as it will really support uh, those who shoot subjects with a lot of motion. So this was especially useful for those who shoot, let's say, weddings, uh, even like creative portraiture, fashion portraiture, and also wildlife. Where does this camera camera uh, stand against like the A1. The A1 is considered like the, uh, the top tier flagship. Yes, yes, and that yes. one shoots 8K as well. Yeah. Since this one does 8K as well, yeah. but it, it also comes with the, the new 61 megapixel yeah. sensor. Yeah. So is it better than the A1? Uh, well, the A1 is still remains our flagship camera. Uh, and this camera is primarily still focused on those who want resolution. And A1, we are still strongly emphasizing for those who require speed. Right. Yeah. So there's still a fine line between uh, what the professionals require, but what Sony aims is to provide something for everyone. Right. Uh, the price range is approximately going to be Malaysian Ringgit 18K. Okay. Yeah, so just look out for our um, look out on our social media sure. for the pre-order information which will be available very soon. Okay. Yeah. Alright. That's just the first impressions of the new A7 R5. Yeah. And like yeah, uh, a whole in-depth review might be coming soon, depending on when I'll be able to review this camera. Yeah, but, we'll make that happen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much, Liz. Thank you. And yeah, that's the first impressions of the A7R5. Yeah. Thanks, guys.